So I'm here with Alexa Grace after quite a wild press conference. First, you want to ask, are you okay? You sort of took a, a big, a big push at the end there and went down. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. It hurt a little bit in, like, in the moment, but I'm okay now. I'm not gonna say it didn't hurt. Like, pushed onto a concrete floor, but I'm okay. Do you sort of feel like the, the odds are against you in this fight? You're fighting on an Astros promotion. You know, her whole team's around, and you're sort of just by yourself with your coaches, right? Uh, yeah, the, the odds are against me in the sense of everyone believes that I'm not going to win, but I don't know, I, I guess we'll see, I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm staying quiet about what I can do and I think I'll shock everyone. Yeah, the, the, the big thing with this fight is Astrid sort of making out that she's had a couple of fights and you know, this is your, again, you're, you're much more less experienced than her, but do you feel like that's not really going to matter or do you feel like you, you're surprised obviously, a lot of people? Obviously, obviously it's going to make a difference, she's had three flight fights. And she's, it's the, it's the confidence of you know going out in the ring, being in the ring, doing that. But I've done a lot of training, and you know I'm working really hard, so I'm just gonna put everything I can into it. And we'll see. Where did the fish idea come from? Uh, I've said this so many times now. I went to uh, Tesco's to get a pasta, and I saw some fish, and I literally, this is what I mean. When I'm doing TikToks, ideas come to me when I see things, and I just thought, oh, throw that. I stood that literally, I thought, I'll throw it on stage, and I like fish. So. It's as simple as that. So was it supposed to be pasta at first? Or were you going to eat no, the pasta? No, 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 I went to, oh. to eat pasta. I thought it was pasta going on. Yeah, no, 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 no. I went to, I went to go buy, I went to go buy pasta to eat it, and then I saw the fish when I mean, like when I was in Tesco. Did you expect her to bring out a water gun or not? No, definitely did not expect a water gun. Mm. What were your thoughts, thoughts on her, you know, her energy of, of, of the press conference? Do you feel like she was a bit nervous or not? I think, so, like yesterday when we was at the open workout, she was so cocky and loud and I feel like she puts on this really like, like this big act of being confident to like settle her nerves. I feel like that's her way of doing things. Uh, I watched back the video of yesterday and while I'm watching it, she does look a bit more nervous. And one thing I did notice is um, the open workout, I did my whole open workout, I did it for longer than that. I think I was in it for like 25 minutes, she was in it for like 10. And I came out, I'm absolutely fine. Like I'm fine, I'm sweating a little bit, I'm not out of breath, I'm fine. She gets out, she's panting, she's exhausted. Talk to me about training at Sandy Robinson. You mentioned it there in a press conference. Do you feel like you train with some actual, you know, real good boxers? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I've, I've trained with Sandy a few times. She uh, lives in Portugal now, but I've been out there two or three times now to train with her. And I was literally there at the weekend, you know, doing the, la the last bit of camp there with her and uh, Cliff. Um, and yeah, I've trained with so many amateurs. There's more than Sandy that's a pro at my gym. There's a few. Pros. So I've got a really good team around me at One Nation. Do you feel like this is just one and sort of done for you or with boxing or do you feel like you're going to go on? Because again, you've got the belt around your shoulder, I know you want to have a rematch in Misfits if you win. What can um, people sort of expect for your, your boxing future? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to rematch after at Misfits and win the belt. Um, and then I'd like to stay on Misfits. Like, I'd have proved to them, probably after the open workout, that I can box. Like, I understand people see the silly side of me on TikTok, but when I was at the open workout, I proved that I can box somewhat anyway. Um, and I think I'd like to do some like amateur or something, you know? I feel like I've got a lot more respect for the sport now since like going in and seeing it and see how they all train and how they dedicate their life to it. Is it safe to say then with this fight you almost want to capture the attention of misfits and then go on there and have a couple? That's exactly right, yeah, that's why I took this fight. Mm, and finally, what's the prediction on Saturday night? 